We follow a challenge of recreating 6 different tactics in 6 seasons using one team. The last two videos saw two tactics recreations from Roberto De Serbi's tactic and Elenio Herrera's Catenaccio. Both made Brighton overachievers. But can this video's tactic recreation bring the same results? To find out more about the tactic, we need to go back in time to the 1920s, to a team called Arsenal and a man called Herbert Chapman, who has a statue also, by the way. Herbert Chapman implemented and had great success with the WM formation. To implement this tactic, you need to make sure that the players you are using have good ratings for work rate and teamwork. And, of course, role-related attributes also. But all within the boundaries of what you can afford for your team and depending on the level you manage at. You need these two attributes to have high ratings as the players must interpret the tactic very well and work for the team. If these are non-existent, the tactic will crumble. To create the formation used by Herbert Chapman, we will need to think outside the box, as the game is not that flexible. To create a WM formation, we will use a 3-2-2-3 or a 3-4-3 formation. We will use two center backs that in game will go up when the team is in possession and will become the wing backs, this way creating the WM. Sweeper keeper on attack duty in goal, two wide center backs, one on support and one on defend, and one central defender on defend duty. As mentioned, the wide center backs will help the possession game, while the central defender will be the cover in the defense. One half back on defend and one deep line playmaker for the first midfield pivot. The halfback will cover the defense, while the deep line playmaker will be the focal point for starting the attacks from the back. A creative player with good passing attributes is needed here. Two Mezale on attack duty. And yes, Mezale is the plural for Mezala. These two players need to be creative, dynamic and take very good decisions. They form the second midfield pivot and will go up to the attack, overloading the opposition's defense. In the end, forming a 5 players attack almost every time. On the wings, we have an inside forward on attack on the left side and an inverted winger on support on the right one. My recommendation is that both have cuts inside from the flank they play on as a player trait. And an advanced forward on attack completes the formation. As player instructions, we have none as the roles offer very good instructions. But tweak them according to your team's needs. As mentality, we go with positive as we need to be on the front foot. In possession, fairly narrow, shorter passing directness and a slightly higher tempo. Play for set pieces and be more expressive. In transition, regroup as we constantly have 5 players attacking, so the chances for a counter attack against us are high. Counter, distribute quickly to the defense and roll it out. Out of possession, mid block and a standard defensive line. Pressing slightly more often, get stuck in, trap outside and stop crosses. We need to trap teams outside and stop crosses, as we play with 3 at the back in a narrow formation and stretching them would mean a weaker defense in the box. You will be the judge of the results yielded in my save. But I'm curious, how did the tactic work for you? Did you get better results? Let's unlock the next one.